Hello friends, and welcome back to Dishonored 2, You Only Live Once. I sincerely apologize for the delay on this episode, I ran into some serious technical issues, and I couldn't even begin recording the episode until I resolved them. I'll explain a bit more later. In the last episode, we rejected the false choice between the two gang leaders in Karnaka, exiled them both to five years of hard labor in the mines, and solved the Jindosh lock ourselves so that we didn't need their help. We've gained access to Stilton's mansion, but uh, there's one slight problem. The void is somehow cracked in this place, and we can't use our powers. All of them. Our passive enhancements still work, the agility double jump and such on. Most importantly, our bone charms are still functional. All of that's great, but anything that had a monocost or relied upon our monopole is completely unusable, and that is a much bigger problem for this run than you might think. Ever since episode 2, I've been able to play more aggressively and take chances I might not otherwise take because of the mono shield provided by the Witch's Skin Bone Charm. I haven't put this to the test in Mission Plus or my free play, but I'd be willing to bet that because my mono bar is grayed out, that shield doesn't work either. At all. At least it shouldn't, there'd be nothing for it to deduct if I got hit. But what that means is that we are more at risk of taking direct damage in this place than at any point since getting Witch's Skin. This is one of my favorite missions, but it may also be one of the most dangerous for this run. As a consequence, I might as well take a minute here to swap out any bone charms that do anything with mana, because they're literally useless during this mission. So that means, let's see, expansive spirit, spiritual fortune, spiritual pool, uh, to say nothing of, uh, where is it, spirit water, yeah, void favor, all of those have to go. They're honestly doing nothing at all for us at the moment, and should be swapped out for just about anything that doesn't involve health or mana restoration. Uh, in fact, it might not be a bad idea to craft some new charms specifically for this mission. First, let's sacrifice all the ones that are explicitly useless, like Healthy Appetite here, or charms with traits that we want for later, like Relocation Sickness. Let's see... Uh, spirited... Yeah, I'll want that later, but for now we need the, uh... For now we need the Whalebone. And... Yeah, some of these are from Palo, and they're completely useless. Um... Yeah, I think that's pretty much it, sadly. Oh, you know what? I'm going to sacrifice Spiritual Pool as well. And Spiritual Fortune. Okay. So what does that give us? Raw Whalebone, 10. And we need we need 6 for each. So we can make 1. And if I can sacrifice to get 2 more Whalebone... Well, first, let's, uh, let's equip things to fill those empty slots. So, let's see, tricky timing, sure. Um, knockdowns, sure. Uh, might as well put lightweight back on. And that leaves how many that we have to fill. So two slots, yeah, two slots that aren't doing anything for us. Okay. Well, we can only really do anything with one of those for the moment, so let's see. Let's see what traits we can find that would be useful in this map. Um, that's a recovery, maybe. Um, actually, you know what? There's a lot of blood flies in this map. So I think I'm going to go with bitter blood. Uh-oh. That sound effect means it's corrupted. Well, let's see what the debuff is. Winning Lock Sword Contest is more difficult. Uh, you know what? That's okay. That's okay. I, I don't really care about Lock Sword Contests. It's alright. And for that, we will just uh, swap out... Uh, expansive literature. It doesn't really matter. Mm, there. Okay. I think that is about all that we can do here. Let's head on inside. Uh, for now, there are no enemies to worry about, so while I explore and loot some odds and ends, it's a good time to catch up. Uh, there's Stilton for us. Now, as I said, as I said, I ran into some technical problems I had to resolve before recording. The uh, fact is, I couldn't resolve the issue, but I didn't want to delay the series any further. Now, I've mentioned before that I sometimes do testing on my free play save slot. Well, Stilton's Mansion is known to cause performance issues for a lot of people. And I've never been one of them, but I've also never tried recording myself while playing it. And since I had some frame rate issues in the first episode, 
Well, I wanted to test it out, and it's a good thing I did, because there are certain spots in this mansion where OBS simply can't handle the overhead, no matter what quality settings I use, either in it or in the game. The only thing I didn't try was going down to... This manor is falling apart. Uh, the only thing I didn't try was going down to 720p, but to be honest, I wouldn't want to watch that myself, and if I wouldn't want to watch it, I wouldn't feel good about sharing it with anyone. Now, that's a shame, because this is one of my favorite missions in the game, and I've been looking forward to showing off some of its secrets. And although my machine is about four years old, well, it honestly, I, I commissioned this machine to play VR, and it does that pretty well. It's got a 2060 Super. It's not top of the line, certainly not today, but it's not a potato either. But as much as I'd love a new gaming rig, I cannot afford to throw new hardware at the problem, so long story short, there are a few isolated spots where we'll have momentary frame rate drops. I know some people get motion sickness from low FPS, and I'm really sorry about that. I'll do my best to keep those moments to a minimum. If that's you, I apologize. Now, we're also going to run into an infuriating bug that's already bitten us once before. Notice that right now, we have full stun mines, full sleep darts, sticky mines, almost every tool is maxed out. Now, in a moment here, the outsider is going to put the world on pause while he gives us another monologue. After which, he's going to give us a new toy to play with during this mission. Three years ago, something inside Aramis Stilton snapped like a cheap lock. A part of him and a part of this house never left that evening. The Duke's inner circle are still gathered here, setting their grand plan into motion. Take this. Imagine it's a kind of timepiece. Go and watch the Duke and Delilah. See for yourself what they did. If we look again now, we've lost one of just about everything. I don't know why this happens, but it seems to be triggered by these sequences where the game takes away all your stuff and puts you into a kind of spectator mode while you play through an interactive cutscene. For whatever reason, the game is not restoring your inventory correctly afterwards, so it basically robs you of a whole bunch of very valuable consumable tools for no well-explained reason. After looking back through the footage, I'm pretty sure this happened after Delilah's chat in the void as well. Remember right at the beginning of the conservatory mission? I was sure that I'd stocked up on stun mines at the end of the last one, but I only started with two and had to buy one. That's why. And that hurts, especially in this mission where we don't have any powers and are really depending on those tools. It's a bad, bad bug. Losing a stun mine yet again in particular really stings that leaves us with only two, with only two more to be found in this level. It's ruining the carpets. I'd be a lot more upset about the sleep dart if we didn't have Lucky Needle and a bunch of spares available, but honestly, there's nothing about we can do about any of this, so gotta move on. Now, as the name suggests, the timepiece lets us travel between past and present, and we're gonna be using it a whole lot, so let's replace Blink with that. And he has learned how to sing. She'll know what you mean. And then I think I'll put uh, bullets on six instead of uh, stop time. Okay. And it's got a lens that lets us peek at what's happening in one while we're in the other. Looking through the lens is what's causing the frame drops, but only in very specific spots. We're fine for now, so after grabbing this memento, let's see what's happening. Okay, so we're going to watch them, and this conversation is only going to take a few seconds, after which they're both going to turn around. And we can get started on playing Temporal Assassin. Okay, there she goes, and as soon as he turns, go. And she heard a little bit of that, but that's fine. We'll pull her off to the right. What am I supposed to do with a request like that? Gooseberry... You'll often see me opening and closing the lens. It's because the lens key, for whatever reason, is shared with the interact key. And you have to press and hold the interact key in order to put away your weapons. Uh-oh. It sounded like he was momentarily suspicious about something, so let's just uh, make sure there's nothing for him to see. Hey, I wanted that pouch. And then let's pop back into the ruined present. Have the kitchen key. 
and but we'll get that note and these coins as well. Yeah, as you saw there, the destination block message, that means there's something in the other timeline that's preventing you from doing a transition. All right. Now, this is the first place we can see some frame drops, but usually only when we're looking up towards the stairs, and I'm going to avoid doing that. What we're waiting for is for uh, this gentleman over here to resume his routine and get a little further over in this direction so that the folks down there in the dining room can't see what we do. I think he's going to stop right about there. Yeah. And he's going to pace around for a few seconds, and then he's going to turn around and walk back that direction. Okay, there he goes. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Get back here. temporarily drop bodies in here. Oh, I say temporarily. They're going to be there for the rest of the map. Now we come down here. Stilton's got the code to the study. I'll need that to get inside. Uh, we actually won't, but we'll get to that. Just a little handful of things in the past here. I'll turn off the music. Thank you. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is start clearing all the outer periphery areas first. Let's actually get some... Uh... There, there. I end up killing a lot of these hounds, and every time I do, I feel like I should apologize to all the dog lovers. And I get it. Um, I, I'm a cat lover, and I honestly have a really hard time with uh, video games where cats get hurt. So, um, I hear you. My apologies. Okay. At the moment, let's pop into here and grab a few things. And no one out there will hear us rifle through this cash register. Those hitboxes are so particular. Okay. Now, this main hall area, this is where the nastiness happens as far as frame drops go. Um, it, it's just bad. Um, you'll see it if I open the lens in here, and I'm going to try to do so as little as possible. But I do need to do one quick thing here. And that's... I'll try to... There we go. Okay. All right, so it's not too bad from here. There should be a guy right here. And he's got a key that we need. And so let me uh, just put myself... There. Got it. Okay. That's the master key done. Uh, let's see. How do we want to do this? There's th This mansion is so wide open, there's various ways you can go about clearing it. I think let's take care of the nest keepers up here first. We need to be able to traverse this area freely. Okay, so he's over here. And stuff like this is why I wanted all those grenades. Remember, I don't have Whipped Skin active, so if a blood fight bites me, that's permanent damage I take. Let's deal with that as well. Don't do that the same way. Oops, bad throw. Okay. That's a little better. Excellent. And remember when I said we can get a map of Stilton's home? 
Well, this is one that has the extra bonus of some renovations that he's doing. But let's take a look at this map and strategize first. So this is that main hall that we were just in, uh, and we're, uh, we're up here, I believe, right about here in the corner. Um, so one by one, we're going to clear these outer areas. We came in over here in Stilton's bedroom and cleared the kitchen. We're going to clear this place over here. Um, I think probably after that, yeah, we'll deal with the basement and then the dining room and then just start wrapping things up. Okay. And the plans will go to shit the moment I start implementing them, but that's fine. That's how plans work. Pretty sure. For the moment, let's clear out all the blood flies. And I got plenty of bullets, so let's use them. There we go. Okay, no more nests. Blood flies should be fine. Whatever happened seems to be centered at some focal point. Okay, um, I think what I want to do here is clear out this room, because this is the beginning of a lot of other things. So let's proceed in here, and first thing, I'm going to do all the looting in the ruin present here. Just a handful of bits and pieces in here. Now we initiate this conversation. Force glass. Is there a break in? Nothing of the sort. We're just renovating for Mr. Stilt. His windows went out of style. These rich choppers drive me nuts. Stilton just worries about his home and about how he speaks and dresses. Always afraid of making some mistake. Socially speaking. That's no way to live. Not even comfortable in your own skin. I'll let you get back to it. Okay. And I should have transitioned before I did that, but it worked out. <laughs> now let's follow this guy out. Okay, we'll avoid looking at the main hall, and now I should be good to go. And we will just stop them right here. Uh, don't worry. Uh, those two down there, they will not budge until we initiate their conversation by getting close to them, and no one else wanders over here. And now for these two. Oh, good. They're in the perfect position for it. So I'm going to transition over, uh, sleep dart this guy, and choke this one. You'll see me do that one two a lot when there are two people sleep darting one so I can immediately go into a choke with the other. Usually works pretty well. But okay. Let's see. I think there is not a lot of loot in this room, but that's okay. Let's clear out the bathroom in the past as well. I think anything of value in here? Not really, just some coins, it looks like. Okay. Now, having taken those guys out, they never completed their renovations. So this window is just hanging wide open, and we can use it to get right over here into this locked room. Thing is, there's three guards in this room, and they are extremely difficult to take out stealthily without the others noticing. It's almost impossible. I've usually had to use a stun mine. Um, but rather than put myself at risk by going into the room and stun mining in the middle of them, there's a much better way to handle this. Oops. I say that and then I completely screw it up. No, you're supposed to do this in the other timeline. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, now let's try that again. That's what's supposed to happen. And they're going to kick open that door. And they all go down. Perfect. Without a bit of risk. That lets us uh, get out this rune in here. All right. Now, this guy, I'm going to place here. And this one. 
over here. And now we're going to open this door. And that should be close enough to trigger their conversation. That's going to take them a minute, so uh, while they're doing that, I'm just going to uh, run around and grab a few things. Oops. You have to understand. You have to understand. I'm going I'm to call going for help. Uh, that was a mistake. I didn't mean to activate them quite yet, but okay. I prefer to have not had to use a sleep dart on him, but then I got it back. And this is an interesting note. Uh, notice that it's signed by M, and she's talking about being in the Howlers and everything like that. And there was a very cringy love letter from some guy to Mindy back in her apartment. I'm pretty sure that this is that guy. Don't know it for a fact, but uh, that's the way I'd bet. Okay. Oops. Keep forgetting about that barrier. Now. Shortly, they're going to finish their conversation, and that one guy who's wandering around now, he's going to come walking down this hallway. And once he gets to about the midway point on it, he's going to see the body down here, and he's going to come rushing down and call all his friends over. There he goes. So that's going to pull three or four guys. And as soon as he gets here, he's going to see the other bodies, and he's going to follow the trail. And there's still two charges left on that stun mine. There we go. Okay, so he's going to stun himself, and rather than waste charges on the stun mine, I'm going to deal with this guy. And leave him right there. And did you have anything? No, you didn't. Interestingly, it looks like we only got two this time. I guess that guard that paces back and forth must have been on a... Uh, must have been not on the far side of his leg. That's fine. So I think then, how do we want to handle this? Okay. Let's see, can I get away with this? Excellent. I would have just dropped him and transitioned back to the other timeline if, if uh, someone spotted. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. What, what just happened there? Where did you come from? Huh. Okay. I have no idea where that guard come from. Or came from, rather. That's... Really interesting. Okay. All right. Oh, that guy's coming back and forth. Okay. 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 Now, let's see was a little further back than I would have liked to have aggroed him. Has that resulted in getting the attention of these two over here before their script? Okay, no, those two are still stuck in their scripted routine. Excellent, so it's just him. Oh, good. It's pacing back this way, so I can just drop him. Okay. Now let's clear out over here. First of all, a lot of blood flies to take care of. Nice. Let's 
see. Any others? Oh, yeah. Big cluster over there. Okay. Now let's collect our spoils. Alright, now there's three guards in here we need to deal with, but they are very, very easy. As soon as that guy turns around, we'll take out this guard here. Okay, good. And we'll just pull him right over here. Let's see, anything? No, that's right. Yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot to find in here. Um, there is something in here, though, I believe, yeah? Just some bathing salts. Okay, now when that officer starts coming back this way, he's going to immediately notice that his friend is no longer there, and he's going to run up here, and that works to our advantage. I think he just turns around almost immediately there, doesn't he? He's there for a few seconds, but uh, it's too exposed to that guy over here. It's not a good opportunity. Oh, here he goes. Okay. Now let's get in place. Any moment now, he's going to become startled. Or not. Maybe he just didn't look in the correct direction this time. That's interesting. Okay. Well, in that case, then uh, we just wait a second or so for him to uh, turn around. I was dropping right here. Okay. This last guy can be a little annoying. But, uh... This is actually an excellent opportunity. Oops. Remember, there are people on the other side of that wall. Don't run. I think there's some coins over here, yeah? And what about here? Anything? No. no. Right, and this cabinet? No. Okay. Okay. Now we should probably take out the uh, basement here. This is an interesting place. Uh, first of all, be very careful because this is an actual functional rat swarm. They will hurt you. I think I got enough of them so that they're below critical mass. Yep. Okay. All right. Now there's a couple of officers down here. It break it. You know why the basement's sealed off, right? Blood flies. Yeah, they should keep the curious away, and we'll come back later to pick up the loot. It's a good, simple plan. So why are you nervous? Dumbass, if you disturb that nest, they'll find our bloated corpses down here a week from now, full of blood fly maggots. Are they that bad? We don't have anything like that in Morley. Trust me. And this year is the worst I've ever seen. Okay, I think that is the end of their conversation. Yep, they are in motion. Let's just get behind the first one. Let's drop him right now. And if we act fast, that guy's going to be facing that direction for a short time. Excellent, okay. All right, now it sounded like they were dropping some loot over there, and indeed, that's exactly what they were doing. They've got this, uh, got this bar of silver here. Uh, you can't really see it very well from from uh, this vantage point, 
But uh, if we transition over into the ruined future, or ruined present rather, yep, there's a silver ingot we can grab. Now let's throw this crank over there. Oh, it's all right. I should have taken out those blood flies first. Let's just do that thing right now. All right. Okay, now as I was saying, grab this crank wheel. And that's going to drain this. Which will grant us access to this room. And some bullets and other stuff that don't really matter. Now let's not forget the blood amber. And since we stole the silver ingot in the future, in the past is still there. Uh, congratulations, we have uh, created a temporal paradox. We now possess two copies of the exact same silver ingot. But okay. There's a bone charm right over here. That fortunately is extremely easy to access. So we'll just transition into the past. Double hop up here. And then back through. Unnerving target. Um, better than nothing, I guess. And right now, nothing is exactly what we have in the form of blood or uh, void favor. So, uh, I guess we'll slap that on there. All right. I think that is everything down here in the basement. We just, oh, nope. Got some things on the table here. All right. I think that is it. I don't need one of these, right? No, I don't. Okay. All right, let's head back into the present. All right, yeah, actually, I think the easiest way into the side room Head out here onto this bit of collapsed structure. And that'll just let us sneak around here. And there's a couple of officers here. Uh, their conversation has not started yet. And uh, as usual, it will not until we get close enough to them in their timeline. Uh, so before we do that, just some things I want to take care of. Make sure I've looted everything in the ruined present. I think there's much here. Uh, there's a lot more in the uh, in the past. Okay, I believe now we're ready. So let's hop up here and begin the first conversation. Mr. Stilton must be a big reader. I saw the books in the study. Stilton? <laughs> Hardly. Those are for show. Why would you buy so many books if you're not even going to read them? They're not books. They're symbols of wealth and good breeding. Now get back to doing your job. Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's give him one, two. I did not get the sleep dart back, but that's fine. There's lots of them. Like that, right there. Let's see. Anything else? I got a couple coins over here. And if I'm not mistaken, a few more out here. Maybe? Yeah. A couple there. And maybe some stuck in the uh, cabinets or cracks. Uh, just two there. Carefully get those so I don't get the food. Okay, now we should be close enough. Stilton's acting odd like today. And while we wait for that to play out, there's a few things to grab here. 
Stilton seems spooked. I might not be able to catch your heavy ass. I'm counting on you, ma'am. It might be romantic. All right. Now, we were in the wrong timeline for it, but uh, they give you a little hint there about the fact that the balcony can be made to collapse. Okay, in a second he's going to walk this way, but then as soon as he gets a little ways in, he's going to immediately turn back around. Just wait here. And bring him down. Okay. Now she's currently down there. And this is exactly where I want her to be. I'm just having a nap right there. Okay. And I mentioned that balcony that can be made to collapse. Here's another hint about it. And doing so is actually one of our special actions. So that's now in really bad shape. And if we go back to the present, oh yeah, it's completely fallen down. You don't need, even need the double jump to get up there at this point. Okay, now that that is done, let's open up this passage in both timelines. Oh, there's a sleep dart in him that I forgot to get. Okay. All right, those two guys are still over there waiting for their conversation to be triggered, and I think now is about the time to do it. Closer. You sure the combination you saw doesn't work? I got a glimpse of Stilton's notebook last month, but he must have changed the combination since then. Damn. What are they doing? Come on, someone could show up any minute. Stop crying. For once, something interesting is happening. If a bunch of drunk aristocrats are having an orgy, I don't want to miss it. I bet it's a seance. With spirit boards and candles. You're not far Stilton wrong. invited that eccentric lady from the Royal Conservatory, Brianna Ashworth. Shit, I heard something. Move. Okay. All right, so now they're going to assume their positions. Which I think they now have done. Yep. Excellent. And that just leaves these guys down here. Oh, there's a dining room also. A few other bits and pieces, but... Uh... Now, I believe there are four or five guards in here. Two of them officers. The two officers are over there in the hallway. And... Isn't it laundry day yet? I'll just take that guy out. That's going to alert the rest. And there, there's the other officer. Take him down, too. And now they should all just knock themselves out. Come on. Let's have a fair fight. Come on. I don't have time for games. Well, that's too bad, because I sure do. At least today. I'm not worried. He's going to wander around until he knocks himself out on that stun mine. It's really about the only way he can go. And if not, he should be the only one left anyway. What will change in the present based on what I do here tonight? 
uh, quite a few things as it happens. All right, let's pop in here. And I think just a handful of coins in this timeline. Uh, some replacement bolts as well. Okay, now let's start the conversation of the two people in this room. Does Aramis Stilton actually play the harp or the piano? Not that I ever heard. What am I doing here then? Why hire a tuner for instruments no one ever plays? If you ask me, Stilton thinks a harp or a piano is the kind of thing a man in his position should own. I'm not sure what that means. I've always thought people bought an instrument because they liked music. Not always. Sometimes it's about appearances. Okay, so now he's moving. Question is, is he going to hang out on the couch or is he going to head out? Good, he's heading out. Okay. Sometimes he hangs out on the couch for a while and it's really annoying. Way too often, I end up hitting that choke just a fraction too early before the interact is active, and it does that block. Excuse me, ma'am. Nothing personal, just do not want you creating a fuss. Now, accessing some treasure requires all three of these uh, chandeliers to be in the upright position. So let's just hit the two outer ones right now. And fortunately, nobody downstairs will take any notice whatsoever of that. Okay, good. Got everything here. That's right. I got to make my way across in this timeline. So before I do that... There's another special action I want to take care of. We've already got the master key from that one other guy, but there's another copy of it sitting here on this chair, and uh, somebody thought it'd be a really cheeky idea to make a uh, special action for nabbing that while you're still under the table. And that presents another opportunity as well, so I'm going to do that. Oh, shit. I forgot my stun mines. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, I knew that that... that loss of the stun mine was going to bite me at some point. Damn it. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, fortunately, there's one in here that I can get, so I'll do this section. Now, let's just clear out everything in this vault. And there's a note here talking about a very heavy statue. It is your hint that you can gain access to something else if you just break this. Because if you do that, no one's going to be able to move that shit. And there's one of our uh, special blueprints. Okay, that's everything in the past. So now if we transition back to the present, the statue is no longer there and we have access to this area. Okay, I think there's a coin over here. Yeah. And back in the past, got some more coins and some copper wire. I know there's a stun I mine somewhere what in here. I doing in Dunwall on this night, or what I am doing. Yeah. To quote Catherine Janeway, I hate temporal mechanics. Okay, so we'll get this letter and then we can grab the coin. And that letter is just talking about how Stilton was working on trying to invent a masked uh, sort of respirator that would uh, help the miners keep from breathing in too much dust. He was, he was really quite a good egg. Some sleep darts and a pouch. It's careful. Actually, I'm not, I'm not sure why I'm being careful. Everyone out there is already unconscious. I could have sworn there was a sleep dart, but maybe... I'm sorry, not a sleep dart, but a stun mine. Maybe I'm misremembering. If so, that's highly unfortunate. Or maybe it's in here. I think it might be in here. Now, this is obviously a very nasty looking place, but if we head back into the past, we'll find a note 
talking about how a uh, servant thinks that that dog was infected with blood fly larva and he wants it burned. Well, he was right, and uh, somebody really should have done that. Oh, there's our stun mine. Thank goodness. Okay. And having taken care of that, now there's no blood flies in the, in the present, and we can see that the code is 238. This is one of the few in the game that is not actually randomized. It will remain that every single playthrough. Uh, the texture is just fixed on here. Ah! That was easy. Sold landing. That's, that's not useful. In fact, that's not even one I want to equip. Uh, it creates a big boom when you uh, land hard on the ground, uh, hurting anyone around you, and, well, that's really neither stealthy nor non-lethal. Nice aim. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, coins over here. Okay, now that I have that stun mine, I'm in a much better position to deal with the gentleman in. Where am I going? Oh, I got turned around because of all the debris. I'm in much better uh, position to deal with the gentleman in the dining room. So let's uh, head over here, get back into the present. Now, okay, everyone's where they, they're supposed to be. Boop. Now. Boop. Okay. That guy momentarily is going to turn around and come close enough. Um, this guy, I'm going to pick up before he uh, catches on fire, just in case. Think you're smart? Yeah, kind of. At least about this. Okay, that's all that taken care of. Another sleep dart or two in here. Excellent. I guess the game knows that since you don't have your powers, you're going to have a lot more need of uh, tools. It gives you a lot of them. Which is quite welcome. It makes up a bit for the loss of some. Uh, let's see. No, that's just food. Okay. Okay. Now that we're on this one, which is in the same position in the present... We can get up here. Unsteady hand. Wow. The bone charms in this mission are just really underwhelming. Let's see. Um, uh, you know what? I'm actually going to swap this one out so, since uh, I don't think we need protection from uh, blood flies anymore. Yeah, that works. Okay, what else we got here? Just a pistol? Okay. And if we pop back into the past, there's a handful of things up here. Uh, be careful when you transition out. I have uh, done so while standing right there before. And if you do that, well, you're going to have a bad time. <laughs> okay. I think that is everything there. And nothing in the seat cushions. pouch there. Nice. Um, oh, yes. Almost forgot. We have not visited Stilton's bedroom. Actually, I don't think I've been in here, have I? No, no, not in this playthrough. Not in this timeline, maybe I should say. There's another one there. Okay. Oh wait, I think there's stuff over in this closet too. I'm not, I don't can't recall if I got all of it while I was waiting for the conversation. Uh, no, did not get the stuff in the uh, in this timeline. I right, hey, get back here. I don't play hitbox games with me.
Okay, there are some things in here to grab, mostly just uh, some coin. Uh, the real meat is out here in his main bedroom area. First, let's activate this audiograph. Tonight, Duke of Bell and the others will drink my expensive whiskey and scheme. Jindosh will watch me like a cat with a half-chewed mouse. Ashworth will sneer about how conventional the rest of us are. Missing the obvious, she'll flirt for a while and put me in my place. I'll sit on my anger, remembering what Theodanus meant to me. I'll tell myself I worked for this honor. I swung a pick in the mines, and now the fine folk are guests in my house. If they want to hold a seance, who am I to say it's nonsense? Whatever happens, I'll regret it. But afterward, Megan's coming by. Talking with her always sets me right. Megan claims Stilton was a good man, at odds with the Duke. Indeed. And, uh... So there's a handful of bits and pieces there in that recording which make things a little clearer than they are just about anywhere else. So the game never outright states it, but I'm fairly certain that we're meant to understand that uh, the old Duke Theodanus and Stilton were lovers. Uh, you know, talking about how much Theodanus meant to him, about, about how Ashworth is missing the obvious when she flirts with him, things like that. There's just a lot of little clues like that which uh, add up to this. It, it just never stated out right, and I think it's wonderful. It's lots of really lovely little bits of, of storytelling like that. But okay, I think we've got everything in here. And what was that? that yeah, it's just a pistol. I always watch for coins in the cracks here. Okay, well, I think with that, the only things remaining are going to be the outside and Stilton's backyard. Yep, that's all good there. All right, let's head outside. And out here, we've got, I think, three guards and two dogs. And they seem to be in a pretty good position for me to take this guy out right now. Not seeing anyone else around. That's fantastic. Okay, where's everyone else? Okay, one of the dogs is right there. So I think that's a good opportunity for me to pop over. It was until the dog went downstairs. Okay, I don't know where they are. Never mind, I got my timelines mixed up again. Man. Oof. It's so easy to do. That's okay. Uh, that has actually worked out, I think. There's another guard down there, and they've been pulled away. So I think while, while they are sorting themselves out here, let's go find that other guy. That's right, there's the maid too, I forgot about her. I hear the dog. I heard those footsteps, the other one is very close. they go? Oh, did they get pulled that back down here when I wasn't looking? Or did they go inside? Oh shit, I hope they didn't go inside. Yep. Fucker went inside. Okay. Now. Where's that dog? I don't know where that dog is, and that is...
extremely disconcerting. thing. Oh, there he is. Sorry. Okay. That's everything they're taken care of. I think the only thing left out here is this whalebone over here. Uh, there might be a coin or two hidden around here somewhere, but I don't really think it's worth going hunting for it. Okay, now that is all collectibles in the past. And same is true for the ruined present. Oh, hi. I don't have another stun mine left in here, but that's fine. <laughs> this guy's got to be freaking out at this point. Oh, didn't open it in this timeline. That's okay. Just wait a sec for him to calm down. Uh, you know what? This is ridiculous. I have so many stun mo or I have so many sleep darts. No, you won't. Okay. Oh, hey, some coins I forgot here. And a couple, a couple right here, tucked in a hard to get place. All right, I think we are good. We're ready to head into Silton's backyard and deal with everything there. Now, there's a couple ways to go through. Oh, hey, this guy's got a... St <laughs> Both of them have sleep darts I can get back. Excellent. Okay. Um, there's a couple ways to go through. If you go through up there, there's problems. Uh, I much prefer to go through the lower way. I had to stop recording here in order to handle a family issue that came up, but since this episode has been delayed far too long already, we'll pick up where we left off in the next. I'm hoping I can record that in the next few days so that I'll have it ready to release next Friday on the usual schedule. We're getting close to the end of Stilton's mission, but there are still several important things we need to do, so if I end up wrapping up quickly next time, I may just continue into the next mission, which is itself quite long. We'll play it by ear. I'd like to thank everyone who's watched, subscribed, or commented, and I'm especially grateful for your patience while I worked out these technical issues. A special thank you to my friend Blondie for his support and help sending viewers over here. You should definitely check out his channel if you haven't. Thank you all very much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.